Number 32, this figure here gives spring force fx versus position x for the spring block arrangement of this figure here. The scale is set by fx equals to 160 newtons. We release the block at x equals to 12 centimeters. How much work does the spring do on the block when the block moves from the initial position uh, 8 centimeters to letter A 5 centimeters, letter B minus 5 centimeters, letter C minus 8 centimeters, and letter D minus 10 centimeters. So this problem, problem is really easy. You just need to remember that the work done by the spring is equal to 1 over 2 K the initial position squared minus 1 over 2 K the final position is squared so if we have the initial position and the final position the only thing that we need is the spring constant so if we have the spring constant that's pretty much it then it's just calculations okay so from this graph over here we are going to get the spring constant we are going to use Hooke's law which minus k x right so let's take a look at this point for example or did this point rather I think it's better so at this point fx is equal to, to let's see this is 160 so this is 80 so at this point the spring force is 80 newtons and x is equal to minus 1 centimeter so let's just isolate k first so k is equal to minus f over x and for this point you could choose any point that you want so it would be minus 80 divided sorry that's terrible minus 80 divided by x which in this case is minus one centimeter don't forget to convert it to meters right so this is going to be 8000 newtons per meter so now that we have the spring constant that's trivial answer so let's go for letter a the work is equal to let's simplify this equation first so is 1 over 2k xi squared minus xf squared so for this case it's going to be 1 over 2 times 8000 which multiplies the initial position which is 8 don't use this 12 over here this is just to trick you so 8 0 0.08 is squared minus 5 0.05 is squared and the answer of letter A is equal to let's see 15.6 joules so that's the answer of letter A and we have to keep doing that for letter B C and D so S is equal to 1 over 2 times 8000 the initial position is always the same so 0 0.08 squared and now we have minus 0 0.05 squared and this gives us the same answer as before because it's a negative value and you square it so it becomes positive again so it's also 15.6 joules for letter C it will be 1 over 2 times 8000 which multiplies 0 0.08 squared minus minus 8 8 squared and then you get 0 in this case because those terms cancel each other as for letter D it's going to be 1 over 2 times 8000 times 0 0.08 is squared minus minus 0.1 is squared and this gives us minus 14 joules and this is problem 32